That's my daughter, clarifies Mims, pointing to her work legacy. The image depicts an African-American girl with long braids hoisting an African statue on her head. This is one of the pieces I'm doing in response to them trying to wipe away black history and whitewash it, she explains, noting the significance of having a young person holding up a statue of an African figure and bringing the focus of attention to studying art history and not letting it go. Another image adorning the wall over her shoulder shows her contemplative while holding a broom, a religious symbol in the backdrop. This is an old piece called Illusions of Grandeur. It's kind of a personal story, she reveals, pointing to a challenging time in her life over a decade ago. I went through a divorce and it was just me and my three children, so that's why you see the woman standing there by herself. She's got her broom like she's doing all of these duties. The broom represents work and duty and she's doing it alone. And she only has her faith to rely on and that's why you see the religious reference in the background. Consistently, Mim speaks to the therapeutic value of art. Art allows you to release what's in your heart and mind. It comes out on the canvas or paper, whatever you're working on, and it's a good release. Sometimes it's therapy because it occupies your mind and distracts you from other things. Seen this way, it could ultimately be said that Mim's artistic success comes from her ongoing quest to master the art of facing herself. It has to be therapy because everybody I know my age is on medication, <laughs> offers Mims half-joking. She quickly clarifies, I am not.